whatever you're imagining is not going to happen. You know, there's going to be a train going by, they're going to change the dialogue, this is going to happen, the director's going to be getting a divorce, and that brings a freedom of chaos. I love chaos. It brings everyone together. And usually that's the way it is. When things get too linear and everything's very organized and clear, someone's trying to make it that way, usually there's a bullshit flag that's coming. If something's not right. It spooks me a little bit, you know? Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. I'm in, by no means wanting to run away from the characteristics of Coach Taylor. He was a pretty cool guy. Unfortunately, you didn't get to see as many flaws as well. I always thought the greatest thing that happened to me was being born a raver. The bloodline guy, John, uh, he's law enforcement. It's what you get to find out about him that he's not telling you. And there's a family that's feeding in on itself. It's not Friday Night Lights, it's bloodline in the Florida Keys. Coach Taylor was an honest man. He was straightforward. He'd stick by the rules. And so, uh, yeah, I'll take all I can that was used in that especially as a starting point because I know where they want this guy to go in the next four or five years. If I can create a foundation of truth and honesty before doing these things that are just whatever they may be and the audience can still say, yeah, but he's still, you know, there, there's a reason, give him a break, you know, that'll be perfect. We're not bad people, but we did a bad thing. Certainly none of my friends <laughs> would tell you that <laughs> You know, that I'm the, I'm the gravitas guy that, you know. But uh, the, those roles came along and I played them well, I suppose. Maya, this is Joseph Bradley, our station chief. Nice to meet you. You too, sir. You just tried to bribe a federal officer. No, technically I didn't bribe anybody. I wish my dad had stayed alive because he used to call me a faker when I was a little kid. He goes, you little faker. And I was like, man, if he knew right now that I was getting away with that and had this job, he'd be calling me something else. But. You know, that's what we do. We get to lie on screens. It's not real. I'm not a good person. I'm done with this interview.